WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p- uh, 2 p.m. update, and currently we have all the U.S. NCs trading to the downside. Dow's off 535, 1.5%. S&P 99 points, 2 and 3 tenths. NASDAQ 100, 400 points, 3%. Russell's down 1.5% or 30 points. Semi's off 88, 3% out there. Gold's up 19 bucks. Silver down 10 cents. Lights we crude up 11 pennies. 105.46 is the print there in the 30 Treasury. Trading out at 140.15. Now, I need to do one thing here before we go take a look at our indice charts. Uh, the last question that uh, came in from Nicholas was with regard to the SMHs. And he's looking to take a long position. And he was asking me a question about an A to B equals CD to the downside. Now, I've got the A to B equals CD to the downside pattern drawn in here on our weekly time frame. And this would suggest that as long as price remains below 237.32, even though it's on light volume, that what the SMHs want to do is go target 202.92. However, in order for that to happen, price has to close below the low of three days ago. The low of three days ago, April 27th, was 225.80. And the reason is, is because what took place yesterday was a confirmed three drive to a bottom pattern. And it's perfect. When I say it's perfect, the distance between the first drive, which was in the trading day here of uh, January 28th, to the second drive to the downside, which was March the 14th. And now we've got that third drive. And this is equal in time. You get the bullish reversal candle. That is a three river morning star. So I had mentioned to... Um, uh, to Nicholas that if you want to take a long trade that the bottom of the profile would be the ideal spot and that's at 228.55 you don't have to risk much because you would close out this trade if you got a close below April 27th because that's a 225.80 level and if you get a close below that then this A to B equals CD to the downside pattern comes back into play but you've got a daily three drive to a bottom and in fact you've got that same uh, pattern here on the uh, semiconductor index charts we'll go ch over to our indices out here and that's your bottom left now I don't have the three drive I've drawn in here, but it's the same thing that we just looked at inside of the ETF. With regard to the Dow, yesterday this completed a, uh, well, it's still below its red oscillator and change line. The Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ, the Russell 2000, and as long as those conditions remain, same thing here in the semiconductor index, which is the reason to wait for price to maybe pull back that support level of 228.55 out there. When you blow a red oscillator and change line, that tells us we have a falling price oscillator below zero. Those are bearish conditions. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear is up next. David White, I'll see you on Magnificent Monday. Have a fantastic weekend. Take care.